Okay guys, so now we're about 60 hours into fermentation and things are starting to calm down a little bit. So first we'll take a look. This is our Weizenbach. Uh, you know, still got a big, nice creamy head on top, but it's not pushing any more debris through the hose. It's still bubbling, but there's nothing, uh, move this out of the way. Yeah, there's not um, a lot of materials coming out of there and uh, trub and things like that. So just gas coming out of there now. So that's probably, you know, we're past the most active part of that fermentation. And here for our chocolate stout, you can see we got a nice creamy head here. It's, you know, inch and a half high, so things are looking really good. We got some condensation inside, so it's hard to see through there and see exactly what it looks like inside of it. But uh, I'll try to switch the lens. Let's see a little bit. It's just kind of hard to see through there. But airlock is still bubbling here pretty regularly. So. All in all, things are looking pretty good, but fermentation is slowing down, so we're going to go ahead and let the temperature rise a little bit, just so we make sure these uh, fermentations finish themselves up, give these a little extra boost, and I have to actually leave town now for about 10 days, which is fine. That's about how long I'd leave it uh, before bottling anyway, so we'll probably turn the temperature up to about 66, 67, and come back in a week and a half and uh, be ready to bottle. Okay guys, so now here we are at our glorious beer fridge, and on the left again is the Dunkelweizen, or the Weizenbach, which is a very strong Dunkelweizen, and then here on the right is our chocolate stout. So you see we have the glass carboy on the left and the plastic carboy on the right. So we're going to take a couple gravity readings, and for the one on the right with the plastic carboy, it just could not be any easier. I'm going to zoom in here and just show you what we're going to do. We're just going to use that plastic spigot and we're going to take a reading straight from it. It's got a little container here. Okay, so now it really couldn't be any easier, guys. What we're gonna do is just open the spigot and out comes some beer. Again, this is uh, perfectly good for drinking. We do wanna check on it and see how it tastes. We just need enough to uh, you know, fill the hydrometer up, take a good reading. That should be plenty. All right. So that's the reading for the plastic. So we're gonna take this over to the kitchen. Then we're gonna now we're gonna take a reading from the uh, glass carboy.